Good morning, everyone. This is your very, very own Yubo for Christ. God bless you. Happy Wednesday. Listen to me. There is something I want to bless you with this morning. Hey, darling, I always say to people, to the men, to the women, if it's your life, then it's your right. Listen, when you go shopping, you want to go and buy a particular dress for a particular occasion you already know what you want you have that in already in your mind and when you get to the shop you're looking around you will not allow any sales girl or whoever come and give you something different and try to convince you ma'am just put this on ma'am just have this just, come on just buy it just pay for it yes it will suit you if you don't like it it doesn't matter how nice they try to present it to you. You simply tell them, I don't like it. I'm sorry. You keep looking for that thing that you want. Because you know and you already have in your mind what you want to wear and how it must look like. Isn't it? And then I love this very much. Because I work in a school. And... One of the things we teach the children, one of the signs that we teach them is stop. I don't like it. So when a child is doing something to you that you don't like, you should say stop. I don't like it. Use your hand, use your voice. Stop. I don't like it. And I said to people, the things that you tolerate, the things that you accept, the things that you sugarcoat and you say is okay, the things that you allow, tell people how to treat you. So many, you show people how to treat you by the things that you accept, the things that you tolerate. The things that you say is okay. That's how you show people how to treat you. And then we get surprised. Sometimes when people treat us in a certain way. And I'm like, how could you do that to me? But most of the time, we allow people to go that far with us. Because we refuse to say, stop. I don't like it. Listen to me. It's not being lawyer when you... When, when you say, well, I'm not going to say anything so that trouble will not come. I'm not going to say anything so that the friendship will not dissolve. I'm not going to say anything so that... Listen to me, darling. And you don't even let people come and tell you because you, you spoke out and said, stop, I don't like it. Don't even allow people to come tell you, well, uh, look at the way she just uh, uh, said that. Uh, I thought she's a Christian. Ah, the way she's just talking. Listen to me, darling. Yes, know how you present your case. But don't let nobody shut you and use that against you. Because you know why? The Bible tells me and you. You that is telling me. Uh, I thought she says she's a Christian. The Bible tells me and you. The Bible wrote clearly for me and you to apply for application. And my Bible make me understand that you should treat me the way you want me to treat you. Love others like yourself. So the way you love yourself, love me like that. The way you want other people to treat you, you treat them like that. So if you will not beat yourself, don't beat me blue black. If you will not insult the daylight out of yourself, don't call me and insult me and call me names. And then tell me, I thought you said she's a Christian. Listen to me. Don't put up with anything that contaminates your spirit. Don't put up with anything that belittles you. Don't put up with anything that causes you to go to bed and you're struggling to sleep. Speak out. If they will not treat their self like that, then tell them, don't treat me like that. Stop. I don't like it. Because if you don't use the sign and if you don't voice out, people will never know their boundary. And people will easily conclude that you're okay with it. If you don't like it, 
You have the right to say, stop, I don't like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Do to others what you will want them to do to you. So treat me the way you want me to treat you. So you are the one that is responsible to tell whoever needs to hear it, stop, I don't like it. If it's hurting you, tell them, this hurts. If it doesn't feel right, tell them, this doesn't feel right. Use the sign. Speak out. Otherwise, they're going to keep doing it. If you want people to respect you, you teach them how to respect you. If you want people to value you, you first place value on yourself. If you want people to address you properly, girl, you need to carry yourself like a queen. Guy, you need to carry yourself like a king and tell that person, I'm a queen, I'm a king. You don't talk to me like this. Behave like a queen, behave like a king, and then tell them. Because if you will not talk to yourself like that, if you will not have that conversation with yourself, whatever conversation you will not have with yourself, over yourself, don't allow people to talk like that over you. Tell them, stop, I don't like it. Listen to me. You owe yourself to do this. Speak out. It's not okay. If you want this friendship to continue, don't talk to me like I'm trash. Stop disrespecting me. If you want this marriage to work, you better start learning how to talk. You better start learning how to use your kind hand. We will say in school, use your kind hands. Don't do that to me. Let's talk this out. Like mature adults. Don't lose the right. Your right. So use the sign just like the kids. Stop. I don't like it. It ends here. Till here and not further. I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm not going to settle for it anymore. I'm not going to allow this anymore. I'm not going to pet it anymore. I'm not going to pet this thing that I'm supposed to put away. It is not okay. Put the sign there. Don't like it. Stop. And you don't let nobody fool you. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Don't let nobody make you feel otherwise. Don't let nobody talk you out of your spot. Don't let nobody believe to you. Listen to me, darling. You're a queen. You're a king. And your father is the monarch of the universe. If your father is the monarch of the universe, meaning he boss. So you boss. I love you. You're very, very honorable for Christ. Bye. Shalom.